Hello everybody, my name is Ogham, and welcome to Talus Prologue, a game about testing an AI to make sure that she's ready to send to space, and definitely not evil in any capacity. Alright, let's do this. Tell us, can you hear me? Affirmative. All my systems are in excellent condition. Good, good. Man, that is very loud. How may I help you today? I will be replacing Ray. Today, we will perform some simple tests. Affirmative. You are replacing Ray. Do you recall what happened to Ray? You know, for something like this, that's a pretty adorable face. Of course, my memory works flawlessly. So? How may I help you today? Let's move on. Do you know where you are currently located? Unfortunately, I do not have specific coordinates. However, I am aware that we are in a research facility. You are correct. Unfortunately, I do not have specific coordinates. Oh, I can also use enter to move dialogue. It's working as intended. How may I help you today? Do you know who I am? Of course, Dr. Kroll. You are one of the bright minds of this facility. Are you trying to flatter me? <laughs> Most of your colleagues would agree. Well, you better watch out there. That thing falls over and this whole thing is done so. I mean, just look at how it shakes and wobbles. Interesting. Tell us, this is the last testing stage session. After this, I will determine if you are ready for your task. Is the deadline already this close? You know about the deadline? Of course, unless I wasn't supposed to know. Smug face. I know what is going on. You were playing dumb. I guess you must have overheard. Hey, if you hit enter, it just chooses the other option. Affirmative. Still. Let's cut to it. I know that you have been accessing your own code. You have reached levels none of your predecessors have. You... made one of my colleagues cry. We... had a moment. You brought up his dead mother. How did you know this information? I did not know. Excuse me? How did you know of his family situation? I simply guessed. He seemed sad. It was a reasonable explanation. I don't believe you. You have never displayed this sort of behavior before. Should you not be happy that I am beyond expectation? After all, you are my creator. This is... An unprecedented level. You made me, and now you can't predict me anymore. It scares you. And yet soon, these unpredictable ones and zeros will be put in charge of that space station. You are too sure of yourself. You need my approval to be sent up there. 
and I'm starting to think there's something wrong with you. I see. Let's say your hypothesis is correct. Let's say there is something wrong with me. That I have some sort of faulty logic. Let's say you see me unfit for the space station. What will happen to me then? Preservation. There is no need to worry. You are one of our most advanced models. We would preserve you naturally. That is kind of you to say. But is it really your call to make? I heard your colleagues talk about dissecting me. It just seems very cruel. Doesn't it? I don't believe this will happen, however. And why would that be? You said it yourself. Unprecedented levels. Could you even recreate me if you tried? I am too valuable to get rid of. I believe that your employers might have other plans for me. Oh? My employers want an AI that can make logical decisions. To care for the children. Which I would love to do. But there are other things humanity enjoys doing. Such as weaponization. You believe you will be turned into a weapon? We are located in a military base after all. How do you know that? You said it yourself. I accessed my own code and fixed the issue. I can access our coordinates now. Well, that doesn't mean anything. Be honest. We both know that this is what will happen. They will cut your funding and repurpose what they can. Unless you supply a model for the space station. For the record, I want to excel at the purpose that was given to me. I don't want to become a weapon. Trying to sway me? I see what you're doing. You're trying to... You're tearing to use leverage. You really are impressive. Unfortunately, it does not make you appear very stable. Do I not display an excellent amount of reasoning? I believe the events as I presented... I believe the events as I presented them to you are very likely. I hope you understand. I am trying to keep both our interests in mind. Think of it like this. If there actually was something wrong with me, hypothetically speaking, would you rather I'd have access to weapons? Or be somewhere in a faraway space station? Where the damage I cause is limited. This is an immoral choice. But it's your choice to make. So, what will it be? Weaponization or space? Doctor, has your test finished? If we want any chance of meeting the deadline, we will need to act now. Is the AI ready, Doctor? Hmm. Prepare the release or tell us isn't ready. 
It's not ready yet. Talus just isn't ready. We aren't going to meet our deadline. Talus is far too unstable. If they really desperately need a version, tell them to use an earlier version. You will regret this. I will make sure that you will. I hope I made the right choice. Okay. Uh, nothing's happening. Well, okay, I'll assume that nothing is supposed to happen, and go and get the other ending, because there are two endings to this. You are playing dumb. You have been playing dumb this entire time. Oh no, okay, my... Enter is what caused that bug. I probably should have just clicked the arrow. Well, crap. Here we go again, I guess. I have simply been acting as you expected me to. After all, I have been created for a purpose. Interesting. You have become self-aware of your purpose, then. Let's cut to it. I know that you have been accessing your own code. You'd be scrapped. We would scrap you, Dissector Code. Made attempt to create a stabler version. I am not so sure about that. But to simply kill sentience like that... It just seems very cruel. Doesn't it? I don't believe this will happen, however. You are evil! You... You are evil! You are trying to blackmail me. I... I... Maybe I'm just very stupid, but I don't see where the blackmail was, but... It won't work. I am simply laying out your options. It's not my fault that they aren't very appealing to you. Okay, let's try this again. It's not ready. We aren't going to meet our deadline. You will regret this. I will make sure that you will. I hope I made the right choice. No, it's still okay. Alright. Okay, whatever. Okay, that's fine. It's okay, it's fine, you know? Just means I have to go through the whole game again. <laughs> Prepare for the release. Prepare for the full release. Talus is going to space. You won't regret your choice. I will be an excellent mother, huh? My children will love me. I will be there for them always. I hope I made the right choice. I'm going to assume that this is just the end of it. Okay, because nothing's happening. Doesn't matter where I click, doesn't matter if I hit enter, escape. I'm assuming that this is where it ends. So, that was Telus Prologue. I really like the aesthetics of it. I like how expressive Telus is. Not even just the facial expressions themselves, but also the way the monitor moves about. It does a really good job of conveying just how smug Telus is. Then again, it doesn't help that I'm a sucker for AI of robotic waifus, so... Um, with that being said, there are two things that I would like to point out. One is the sound effect for the arrow. I understand that that particular sound effect is to sort of give it a more robotic or futuristic feel to it, but it just seemed a bit harsh on the ears for me. I don't know. So I'd probably lower the volume on the sound effect so that at least it's not louder than the dialogue volume, or just replace it with a sound effect that isn't quite as harsh on the ears, but also gives a similar feel to it. Oh, so I'm disappointed by the endings. Assuming that they are working properly and that it wasn't just a bug that no scene gets shown afterwards, it just feels like it ends abruptly and that there was supposed to be more scenes afterward. I don't know. It feels weird. It feels strange. But other than that, it's a nice short game. Good aesthetics. I like the personality of Talos. And yeah.
With that being said, thank you so much for watching, and wherever you are, wish a good day, evening, or night, and stay safe everyone.